I have to make you smile again? We're going to get an A in this class. <laughs> he didn't laugh this time. <laughs> Telephone call. Arrived at a switchboard. I tried to pick something that was using a, a word problem that was using uniform distribution. Telephone call arrived at a switchboard at random within a one-minute interval. The switchboard was fully busy for 15 seconds into this one-minute period. This problem is dated, obviously. What is the probability that the call arrived when the switchboard was not fully busy? <coughs> um, part of the issue with the, the problems that you're getting is translating what they're giving you. Like, number one, going like, oh, how do I make this into math notation? That takes a little while to like, get fully done. So I'm, you're not seeing, you know, it's like uh, Rocky. He just, they got the Rocky theme music going, and the next thing you know, he's fighting. Like that, but they kind of eliminated the hard work by just making that. I, I, made a, I made a reference to Law and Order. They squished the whole thing into one hour. Um, they, the crime, the detectives finding out who did the crime, the actual trial, all of it in one hour. Done, done. But that's not reality. Right? So there's some like scratch work to kind of figure and read this problem out that you're not seeing that. So I'm reading it just like you would. I'm reading it and going, what, what is it I'm looking for? Well, um, the first step is to write down your random variable. If you got this part incorrect, then the rest of it becomes hard. And you'll find it. Like, if you wrote the random variable incorrectly, then you'll figure, like, it, you'll be swimming in stuff later on. So then you might want to go back and go, maybe I define my random variable incorrectly. Um, so why? I put thought of it as the call coming at a particular time in the one-minute interval. I'm already thinking y is equal to little y, so I shouldn't actually write it in there like that, but since y equals little y is random in that interval, it's a uniform distribution. It can uniformly happen at any time in the interval. That's what uniform distribution means. Make it clear? <laughs> yeah. All right, so you guys are familiar with normal distributions, right? So um, things kind of aggregate down. If you look at, for example, how much is uh, the average weight that people can deadlift? There's a mean, and then there's like this tapering off at the edges. Like there's less people that can do more than that, and there's less people that can do less than that. A uniform distribution, everything is equally likely throughout that interval. I'm trying to think of something that's naturally a uniform distribution. I don't know, if you think of something that is naturally a uniform distribution, that's easy to understand. Um, there's stuff all the time that's a uniform distribution. It's equally likely to happen any, for everything. Um, you don't have that tapering at the ends. And so um, because this call can happen any time during this one-minute interval, it's equally likely to happen any time in the interval. That's a uniform distribution. That's the definition. So there's no tapering. There's not less calls at the beginning of the interval and less calls at the end of the interval. There's equally likely at any time. So you don't have this looking bell-shaped curve, you have a flat line. Make sense? You thought of a good example? I'm pretty sure m and colors. That could be. That could be. I don't know. Now you want to set up this problem using that uniform distribution. So definition 4.6 says that that's the density function. And I use seconds. I was a little bit bothered as a mathematician because it could be any time, so it's any real number. So I should be able to do anything in that zero to, but let's say it's seconds, zero to 60 seconds. Then my theta two would be 60 and my theta one would be zero. So I know what those things are filled in. And then I use that distribution to answer their question. Um, so this part might be hard. Go ahead. Never mind. You just got to write. Right, so this part might be hard. So. I'm trying to calculate the probability that y, my random variable, is bigger than 15. How did I know how to set up my random variable? Because I'm already thinking down here. I'm like a little bit looking at the pins at the end, going, OK, how would I get that ra the right random variable? Well, they, they want to know some, when is it going to be above that 15-second interval. What should be above that 15-second interval? The probability that that call will come in the 15, over that 15-second interval. That tells me what y has to be. So why would we not just make theta 1 15 from the jump? Huh? Why would we not make theta 1 15 from the jump? Because the, you, you still have a uniform probability that it would end up, you still have to account for the fact that it could end up before that 15 seconds. So you're just calculating after. If 
think I copied it. I copied it to the next thing. So, go ahead, Anna. They told us in the problem. They told us that the first 15 minutes is fully busy, and after that it wasn't. So what's the probability that it's not 15 full? I mean, since it's uniform, can we make that assumption that regardless of wherever the 15 seconds happen, we can just put it at the beginning just because it's going to be the same regardless. Just to make it solve it easier. This is trivial, but it might be the same thing if you do that. You can check it, right? This is so easy that you can check it. So you're just, by definition, that's what it is. This is like, if a 104 student can't do this, that's the time to take 104 again. <coughs> so you got the 1 over 60 from the definition 4.6? Yes. Okay. So realize that um, if I had paper on my desk, I would have all this in front of me, just because I have slides that I don't. My um, neighbor's teaching 104, and she says she finished class ha with half an hour left to go. That never happens in 476. <laughs> 